So this video, this video mainly is intended to cover how you can use Appify inside of Clay and get everything set up. But uh, we kind of need to get this table ready to go. So I'm going to make it like a live workflow session as well, too. So the first thing that we need for this company is we need their uh, Instagram URL. So the way we're going to get that is we're just going to use Zenros. Run Zenros scrape. This one, scrape URL. We'll just use, if we have normalized a domain, we're going to use that. Uh, normalized URL. And then we're going to put HTML output fields. We want the social links. I don't want anything else. So that is totally fine. And we'll just hit run 10 rows and just make sure that this works. And then once we know that this works, we will move on. So we got their social links and this person doesn't have an Instagram. That's crazy. Social links. This person has an Instagram. Great. So we will take this and push this out. So with their Instagram URL, we're going to scrape this and we're going to find, um, we're going to like find information about their, their page. So the first thing I just know that Appify is going to ask us to do is it's going to want the username at the end of this. So we're going to do a formula. So if you look at all of these, see how they all are, uh, www.instagram.com backslash ski house backslash, right? Every single one of them is .com backslash thing backslash, right? So we're just going to use a formula and we're just going to say, give me the data between .com backslash. Oh, I hit escape because I was trying to get out of that thing. Give me the data between .com backslash. How do I get out of that? Okay, dot com backslash and backslash. And this should just be the username. So whenever you wanna use a formula, you gotta look for the thing that's the same every time and then pull it out. Yeah, this is annoying. How, oh, from, we need the Instagram, duh. And then hit generate formula. Great, so now we have this, which is exactly what we want. And now we're gonna pop over to Appify. If you ever need the password for this, just let me know. So we're gonna use this Instagram. We're gonna use the profile scraper and the post scraper. And so the way that we're gonna do this is we first need to take a look at this and we just need to make sure that it runs, which I know that it runs. Uh, Cause I already did this. So, there's a certain place that you need to click. Okay, input. This is what we want. This is the most important part, and I'll show you why. So now we have this, and we need to set up the Appify Actor. So we're going to go to Appify, run Appify Actor. I forgot. I'm going too fast. Appify is a platform that gives us access to other ways that we can scrape things. And so you can use Appify inside of Clay. So we'll just select the Appify app Actor. So we'll do Instagram. Which one do we want? We're going to use the Instagram profile scraper, right? So we'll do Instagram profile scraper. Then this input data, this is super annoying to get right. I hate trying to guess at getting this right. So run it once and make sure that it works. And then how did I get here? Actors, Instagram profile scraper. I think you go to runs, click on the run, and then input. And then this is what you're going to take. So then we're just going to copy and paste all this. We're going to bring it into clay. And then boom, now what we're just going to replace is instead of quotes, humans of NY quotes, we're just going to insert that formula that we made of the username. And now this should work. I was about to run it, but remember, if we don't have a valid email, there's no reason to run it. So let's not overload our systems. So let's make a conditional formula. Boom. And now let's run the first 10 rows and just make sure this gives us the data that we want. First, I want how many followers they have. And then we're going to run another Appify actor to see um, when did they post recently and information, like how many likes did they get on their most recent post as well too. And we'll just let this, so while we're letting this run, we're just going to go over to the Instagram post scraper. And now we're going to set this up as well too. So one, we're just going to make sure that our input that I want to use actually works. 
and we'll use that here. Maximum post per profile, I just want two. And then I want anything past May 1st, which is good as well too. And then we're just gonna hit save and start and we're just gonna run this. So now we're just gonna wait for it to run. Actually, we don't even need to wait for it to run unless this really doesn't work, but we're just gonna copy and paste this. Let's see if this really doesn't work, that'd be crazy. Okay, cool, so this ran. We're gonna check that in a second. We'll have another Appify actor here. Same thing, same thing, but now we're gonna say Instagram post, dang, what's this thing called? Instagram post scraper, Instagram post scraper. That's so weird. How is this not? First comment, awesome. Number of likes, number of comments posted on. Okay, we have everything that we want from this data. This is so odd though that it's not getting me the Instagram post. Hmm. Instagram, that is so odd. All right, so it's not showing up. Let's see what we can do here. Text with tokens, enter value. So a lot of times, see how it says run and then RT1ZQS? That is oftentimes the ID of the scraper. So let's see if we can just grab that and make that work. If it's not that, then maybe it's this as well. Let's just see. Actually, a good way to tell, I'm being stupid. A good way to tell is if we just click on this. Yes, it is this one. This is what we want. Okay, then the input data, we're gonna make it what we copied and pasted. Only posts newer than this, results two. Skip pin post, false. I actually want that to be true. Username, and then let's import the username as well. Instagram username. All right, let's see if this will run. This will error out very quickly if this doesn't work. So this will be profile scraper, and this will be post scraper. Now let's check the data that we get. Okay, results, here we go. Instagram, FBID, cool, false, full name, input URL, great. Username, great, verified, true. Biography, great, post count, great. Latest posts, oh, we don't even need the post scraper anymore. We have that. Let's just make sure that we have the date in here. Short code, timestamp. Then we just need the likes and then I need the comments. Oh, okay, so we don't need the post scraper. Cool. We do need, this is good. Cool, this is good. Let's see if this is running. Okay, maybe not. Let's see if we have this. Hmm. Post count, latest post. Merry Christmas. All right, so, so, so look, the Appify actor isn't working. We need to validate this timestamp here. Ah, hmm. So what I would do is I would take likes, most recent, post because these are the things that we need comments count most recent post and then this is the latest post yes okay timestamp cool and let's just get this going okay cool oh this post scraper oh it did work look damn i'm good all right, we do have the post scraper, but I don't think the post scraper is getting us anything that we aren't getting from here. See, now I ran this without listening to my own stuff. All right, so I just want to make sure, I kind of want to just make sure this timestamp is correct. Found one result. No items, empty or private. Oh, because the last post, yeah, okay. Uh, it's not gonna, get, we didn't filter by timestamp over here. We filtered by timestamp over here. Wow, this is a wild SOP video, okay. 
Great. So let's just keep this. We'll keep them. But no, I don't want to keep them both running. Um, this is fine. We're going to delete this. We don't need this anymore. And then we'll just get the follower count from here. And that's the last thing that we need. Cool. Let's get the follower count. Okay, great. So now we're ready to run this and we've got everything. But basically, if you saw setting up the Appify actor is really easy. Just ask me for my login to Appify and then, you know, we're good to go.